Hey everybody and welcome to part 13 of Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. So let's talk to the professor just to open this up. He literally just says that we got enough orbs. And Metropolis literally has the same loading screen as Robotica Farms. Very creative, Insomniac. Very creative. Robot. My name is Bob. I'm here to go to work. Uh, who are you? And do you have a missile pointed at me? What the hell is this? Why is there suicidal terrorist bacon? You taking the bus too, Mr. Pig? I really don't get the point of that. What is the point of that? This has four orbs, right? Yeah, this level has four orbs. I know, this is an interesting level. Like, these draw... Yeah, space cows. Uh, too bad they probably won't make, make the thumbnail. Now, for these elevators, you actually have to head bash. And you can't move on them either. You have to stay stationary. Ooh. Bunch of big gems. It's like 40 gems. Just really easy to get. Hey, those sound like they're from a different game. Also, these enemy sound effects are reused in non-Insomniac Spyro games. So, I don't know if it was Sony's permission that gave to them. Or if, uh, what the? Seriously? You have to flame these guys. But, um, I don't know who actually gave him permission to use these enemy sound effects. Or if they're, you know, free to use. But they did show up in Enter the Dragonfly. Enter the Dragon, yeah, Enter the Dragonfly. The Spiral 3 is Year of the Dragons. Oh, great, these pigs. Terrorist pigs, they're working for ISIS. And that one literally just died without me touching him. Get out of here, Baconator. You are the name of my pig in Pokemon. Oh, I did that while looking for Jim. God damn it. Also, there's clearly a ladder up there, so it looks like we'll have to go up. Let me take your life force, collect these gems before we move on, and then go up. Oh, looks like we need um, some ability to break the large crystals again, and I know exactly what it is, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, because I'm not a spoiler alert master. Now for this, just go on here. And all you have to do is flame these bombs at him. Well, easier said than done. It is a very annoying challenge. There we go. Can you, uh, please... No, can you stop with the whole going that way, Spyro? This is like a... The only boss that isn't part of the actual main boss lineup. Also, it's the only boss that's in, worth an orb. That was way easier than it should have been, but yeah. Excellent work, Dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. Okay, thank you, Logistics Droid. You have a very monotone robot voice. As one could, you know, assume that a robot vo a robot would have. Though, I did detect a bit of humanity in that voice. Oh, we're still going deeper into the level. Ooh, are we gonna have more uh, gold gems? No, oh, green gems. Liars. The colors don't indicate anything. Well, apparently they indicate something for every other room except for this, except for that one. Huh, weird. Now we're going up. We're gonna fight more cow people. Well, no, more pigs at least. Eh, too bad I can't turn it into bacon. And why does it say zero out of zero UFOs? Like, does that mean I'm technically done the mission then if it's zero to zero? I hear a cow shooting. And I don't mean the laser cows, I mean the ones with the guns, like this guy right here. Ugh, good thing he's screwed up. I seen a rocket pig. No one likes a rocket pig. Hey, we're at 5,700. I said 5,900, right? Yeah, 5,900 will be the end total of gems in this game. But that's also because we paid for everything in the game. A lot of people just bomb rush it and get to the final boss. We're not doing that. And look, the end of the level. Woo! Hey, lady. Ah, Spyro. I heard you were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. Yeah, well, I don't know how there's a world of robots, but sure. It's a first for Avalar. A combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceships must be stopped. 
And I was watching a challenge of four stars, really. I was watching a, a recent Let's Play of Spyro 3, and the, the Let's Play kept calling them um, pig saucers. And I'm like, pig saucers? There's no pigs. I think they're clearly sheep saucers, but whatever. We'll just call them pig saucers. No big deal, no big deal, right? You don't know your Spyro the Dragon lore. Burn in a oh, I killed it. Okay. And there's the last one. I don't know how this is a four-star challenge. That's really easy. Excellent work. You knocked those sheep right out of the sky. This orb device is proof of your skill. Well, thank you. And 64 orbs. That seems weird. I knew it. And literally just second wave, which is now five stars. This one could, I guess, be five stars. So I believe these ones actually attack you. The first ones didn't. There we go. Wow. Three already. Oh, and there's number four. All it leaves is one more. Yeah, I'm gonna collect some of these gems while I'm up here. Because there are a lot of gems to collect in this level. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell was that? Like, I was stuck falling. Couldn't recover from that. There we go. Nice Last orb. You've proven the genius of my double power-up invention. Here, keep this to commemorate your victory. Oh, and that's our final orb of the entire game. 64 to 64 orbs. Woohoo! Oh yeah, was I invincible in that? I can't tell. <laughs> I think I was. Now let's just go around and collect all of the gems. We have... Whoa, there's an invisible wall there, apparently. We have quite a few to collect still. But with all these gems lying around like this, it shouldn't actually be too hard. Yeah, we're only missing less than 100 now. We're missing 94. And man, all these fives are going to definitely help us out. Okay, let's go grab some more flight power. Collect these gems up on this planet ring. Perfect. Ooh, I forgot about these ones. I don't know how I forgot about those ones. Oh, and some more gems up top. Thank you, Sparkies. Mr. Sparkles. Oh, yeah, this one. I forgot about this. Oh, come on. Actually hit it, Spyro. That means there's not going to be very many gems in that one thing that we missed. You know, the... the um breakable crystal. Uh, this level's gonna take less than 10 minutes. That's just how short this level is. Now we have to go down. Alright. Gotta be quick about this, because you can't go straight up, so you actually have to do take these elevators. You actually do have to take these elevators? Yeah, that's not... Have to do take these elevators. They didn't come out right, so... Pardon me there. There we go. Gem. And Metropolis complete. Oh, we don't actually have all the gems of the game, apparently. At least according to the game. And this cutscene here is literally just pointless. I believe he gets hit by a bus. He's like, he decides to move and then he gets hit by a bus. Kind of dark for a cutscene, but eh, whatever. And that leaves one final level. And we all know where it is. It's all up at the top of the castle. Gotta hate jumping up here. It takes so long to jump up these damn stairs. Man, we already opened this before. All right. Okay. On to Ripto. Ripto! Wait, why is everything capital except for the, the eye? Aw. Shorty, maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. 
dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Funny thing is, this is actually the longest boss fight in any of the, I guess, spiral games based on this type of concept, you know, like the whole going to the portals and stuff. I believe they get Sorry, longer in fight Ripto. Legend. Allura is using the orbs you collected to store power-up energy. Hunter will throw the powered-up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. I'm pretty sure Zoe's voice sounded different than it did at the beginning of the game, but sure, why not? So yeah, we have to wait for them to throw down orbs, but the thing is, he can also collect them himself. And whatever the final color of the orb you collect is, that's the power-up that you'll get. Oh, he collected a red. Ooh, green. Green is probably the best one to collect. Because you get this weird, goopy bomb attack. There we go. We did a nice chunk to him. Ah, we were going straight for the orb. Just watch out for his fireballs. They hurt. And, oh, he's got a blue one. Oh, come on. Don't touch the red one. Please. Ah, damn it. We're not going to... Okay. I believe he always goes back to the middle of the, the arena. Oh, just shockwaves? That's like, that's like crush all over again, man. Okay, so we want to hit him as many times as we possibly can. Yeah, well, we got a red one at least. We managed to collect another one, but... You can flame him for, like, a little bit of damage, though it's very menial. Man, I haven't got to show off the blue one or anything yet. Oh, he's almost dead. Shit, he got another red one. Come on. Am I gonna get a blue one? And... Are there really enough orbs to just keep throwing him around like this, Hunter? Hey, look! Green again! We've gotten green every damn time. There we go. We beat the phase one. Great. Robo gulp. This is where the blue one is better. Now I believe he does... Shit, I can collect it. I believe this is also where he does three fireballs most of the time. Hunter, can you please stop dropping him near him and ooh blue. Actually the the red one isn't that bad here. Actually neither of them are. Hey run, fool! Ah Ooh, we got a lot of oh I don't think that last one technically hurt him. Thank you. Please don't What the hell? Ah, we're wasting his power up! Actually, supercharge isn't the best just due to the fact that, um, you can't hit as many times. You can only hit a max of three. You know what? If you're going for that red orb, then I'm just gonna go for this one. I'm just closer to this direction anyway. Here, eat all this poison shit! Ah, he's almost defeated. You know, I'm surprised I haven't gotten hit by a fireball yet. You know, you can have the red orb. I can't remember which one's the annoying one for gulp. Ah, God damn it! And we defeat it. We're gonna defeat him with green again. And there we go. We defeated Robo Gulp. You think that's it, guys? Do you think we have Ripto cornered? Nope. Go figure. Ripto has another trick up his sleeve. Including a robo bird, but we have fly ability. Oh great, he's shooting the ground. He's destroying everything. Okay. Now this one's interesting, you just gotta shoot him with fireballs. Eventually he'll fly away, and then he'll eventually try and cut you off and stuff. So you gotta be a little care more careful. Where are you going, buddy? God damn it. That was bad on my part. Okay, he's starting to do that now. There we go. Eventually, he'll start circling the outside and then only come in to attack you. 
Like this. So you just gotta wait for him. And miss him, apparently. There we go. Is it one or two more hits? Can't quite tell, but... Oh, it's one more hit! And then his Robo-Bird died, and same with him. Apparently he just goes into Molten Lava. Goodbye, Ripto. See you later, buddy. Woo! Ripto defeated. Oh, and now we got the gem for the guidebook. Let me guess, you're gonna change the uh, flags? Yeah, and Sparrow's just like, yo, bitches! I beat it. Hey, money bags, give me the money. Hubba bubba. Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the dragon worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Oh, he I does? Do not. Hunter? Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab him? Sparks, really? You just type in the new coordinates and there! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Well, time to go on a vacation. Let me guess. Credits. Yeah, with the original game music. But we can skip them right now because, guess what? We can go to Dragon Shores. Woohoo! We might actually be able to get it all done in this episode. Which then that finishes off Spyro and then we can do Sly in the next game. So now we have 10,000 treasure. Hey, buddy. Norks. Well done, Spyro. Step right on into Dragon Shores Park. Well, thanks, Niles. Why Why are there Norks running our amusement park? So, was Nasty Nork literally just an evil version of him? Eh, tickets. Okay, where is the good game? Oh, this game's good. Let's do this game. Step right up, Spyro, and take a look at what we've got for you today. Inside this here booth, you'll find some of the most vicious creatures you've ever seen. Okay, thanks, Nick. Uh, okay, it doesn't really do say anything other than the fact that we'll hurt them. That won't hurt them. Hey, look, it's the Yeti from Colossus. He also shows up in Spyro 3 as an annoying orb, but there's a glitch to it, on the emulator at least. We won't be able to, you know, make use of it. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? Take this token for being such a good shot. Thank you. Have another shot if you Okay, I believe can we get three hey it's a clay it's one of the uh what clay clay shape no earth shapers earth shapers not clay earth shapers. Oh I'm super effective This is pretty easy I believe you can get three from him. Oh I know that voice. Have another yeah, it's Chef. I think he's supposed to be a duck. That's why he sounds like the enemies from um, Sunny Beach. Like the guys with the uh, rubber ducky rings. Wow, you really are a great shot. Take this. It's my last token. Well, thank you for your last token, sir. Pachink! Also, I believe there is a spot where you... Uh... Oh, well, we can open up this. Ah! It's the permanent fireball power-up. Because, you know, they added into the game, even though you apparently never have any use for it. Dragon Shores Coaster. Here at the shores, we don't just ride, though. If you can pop all the balloons on the track, a token is waiting for you. Ready to ride? I believe we have to do this twice. To get all the tokens. Oh yeah, we don't have the cannon yet. At least I hope we only have to do it twice. This can get tedious. Guys, remember that level... 
Breeze Harbor. Oh, God damn it. Gotta do some backtracking now. Hey, it's the Electrol from uh, Hurricos. They're here having fun too. Wait, how do you guys all know about Dragon Shores? Seems a little weird that you guys would know all about the Dragon Amusement Park. Don't you guys have your own Avalarian Amusement Park? Like, seriously, do you have to be at mine? Woohoo! Squeaky, 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 squeaky! And last balloon. Good! Thank you. Alright, I'll. Okay. Pop all the balloons. I don't think we got our can. Nope, there is three rounds to this as well. God damn it. There's 50 this time. And we don't have a cannon yet. So I believe the third one we get the cannon. Well, it still doesn't seem that difficult, but now we can go multiple pathways. Well, we're almost halfway done this. I believe now we have to. S no, we don't have to switch pathways just yet. For the most part, it's always the same course. Just they add stuff, you know? I do like the music at Dragon Charles, and it does have a background from. Uh, Spiral 1. Yeah, hard left, man. That's it for balloons on that on that little ra uh, ring? Seriously? It's not very many. Oh god, there's a baby turtle. What is he doing? Laying on the ground. God damn it. Jumped over it again. I do that a lot lately. Alright, just don't jump over it. Wish there was a speed up button, but there isn't. That's what you get for playing on console. And again, I don't even think the um, emulator actually has a speed up button, so it's not like you could speed it up anyway. Alright. Over to the left again. Why is it always to the left, not the right? Never have to hold down right. Only two more balloons, and now we get to do a nice loop de loop. Loop de loop. And pop. Yeah. Hey. Thank you for the token. There's one. One more run. But I believe it's still 50, but now we got a cannon. And I believe the ones we have to pop with the cannon are actually red balloons. 99 red balloons. Or 99 loof balloons. See, there's a red balloon. God damn it, I missed it. We gotta go back there anyway because we have to do our loop around. Hmm. So far, so good. I'm assuming that just means there's less green balloons on the track and just some red balloons, like, outside of the track, I guess. Alright. Hard left again. Perfect. Yeah, see, there's no green balloon right here. Which indicates that the red balloon there was actually used, or was that green balloon that was there originally. Alright, this way we go. There! I thought I wasn't going to get it, but we managed to get it. Almost there. Oh yeah, and if you hit anyone or anything, you fail, so... Yeah, be on the lookout for that as well. Oh, there's still five remaining? Really? Oh yeah, we never did our full loop around yet, have we? Woo! No, never mind. I guess we did get them all. Wow! And you are a natural. There, now I guess we get to go on the tunnel of love. Free, free, free. You pay no money down and make no monthly payments. In return, I'll give you one token. One is all I can give, but you can ride as many times as you'd like. Okay, guy who sounds like Timon. Norm. Let's see what romantic interest Spyro has by going on here. Will it be Alora? Probably not, because she said that she was busy cleaning up Ripto's mess. So we probably won't see her either. Hey, oh god, that's weird. God, what these, these, these earth shapers, that's brother and sister, what the hell? Oh, what's that guy doing with the guy's cat? 
And we got Chef. Really? Damn, Master Chef. Thank you. Let's not speak of this again. That guy was a dude. Spyro was also a dude. Uh, if you want to see movies, like cutscenes from the game, you can go there. Otherwise, it's not really that important. Hi, you Spyro. I hear you're a pretty good shot. How'd you like to try my shooting gallery? Yeah, sure. All we have to do is shoot everything. Ten duckies. Where's the other duck? Oh, there's another duck over there still. And there we go. That was really easy. Ready for the next Ready for the next one? Yeah. Oh. Just have to kill these guys. It's like it's like uh, whack a mole but with fireballs. Actually in Spiral 3 there's a whack a mole section. And wow, that was even easier than the last. It took less time. Ready for the Hey, you mean the last one? Oh hey, it's the it's the little what do they call them? Lava lizards? These guys are all over Spiral 3. Are you guys supposed to be a challenge? Like, seriously, you guys- I killed one before I even seen him. And there we go. Perfect. Great, here's my last token. I believe with that, if we talk to this guy, he'll tell us what we need tokens for. Well, Spyro, it's your lucky day. You've managed to win enough tokens to enter the famous Dragon Shores Theater. Go on in and enjoy the show. Yeah, you think there'd be like something special, but I don't believe that there's anything special about this. Like, see, you can just go here. And we need a vacation. I've got a dragon. I'm a fawn, you dork. No dragons. Wonderful. Bring it on, shorty. Boo! Gulp. Lunchtime. Spyro, you did it. You little fools. What, you again? Come on, Sparks. And that's literally everything. That's everything that Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage has to offer. So if you guys enjoyed this Let's Play, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I give this game probably 8 to 10 stars. And uh, I'll see you next time for some Sly Cooper. Peace out, guys.